Welcome to my channel. My name is Tawana and I am a sticker and stationery shop owner. And today we're going to be, or I'm going to be cleaning up this area called um, my shipping station. Um, so that's my big old printer. And I want to switch this out for the stand that I got. Um, but um, I was in Virginia uh, this past weekend um, to visit my family and to go to Ikea because unfortunately Raleigh doesn't have Ikea which I don't know why I was shocked by but I was shocked by I either have to go three hours back home to Virginia or go three hours to where my other family is in Charlotte and I don't want to go to Charlotte so I was like, well, I have to go back to Virginia anyway for um, <clears throat> to get some more of my stuff. So yeah, Ooh, I also need to show you guys this. Um, I'll do that later. So yeah, let's start getting on this. Hopefully the cart that I bought is gonna fit under here because it doesn't have these handles on them. So it should fit. It should, we'll see. All right, so the utility cart that I got is this one for it is black, has wheels on it, and it um, has a whatchamacallit, like a wood top, a wood finish top. So that's what I'm gonna be putting underneath here. And it should fit. Now, for my silhouettes, that's a different story because like we're gonna also clean this up a bit too. Hmm. All right, let's go. I've been gone since like July. Niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Cause I told them to put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fucked up, I'm gonna be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge so it. Okay, I'm done, finally, thank God. I'm so over this. Um, I had messed up and when I was using my trash can just to level that um, piece so that I could screw it in, I was unable to pull it out because there's this lip right here. Um, so I got it out. Now my problem is this is as tall as that is um, and I want to be able to still, you know, roll it out when I want. So I am either going to get rid of this table back here and use this as my new, um, shipping table, or I'm going to see if Walmart has high, um, taller risers. So I'm gonna see if I have, can find something that's taller to go here to lift this up a little bit more. Um, otherwise, this is my new shipping table as well. And it's, I'm just happy it's big enough to hold the printer. But we shall see, or I shall see. All right, so this is what I came up with. I just decided to get rid of the table altogether. <laughs> um, and you can see I lost some square footage um, where the cart is, because the cart before could go underneath the table on the risers, but that's fine. Um, I can still do about probably three or four orders on there at a time. And then I'm gonna fill up um, that <laughs> shelf with my notepads. I'm gonna move them off this cart over to there. Um, and if anything, probably move the stickers to the top of that cart and move these ones further down 
And then this cart just gets freed up to be whatever, or it goes away completely into my room or into the coat room closet. Who knows? I haven't decided yet. Um, but yeah, this is what we're working with. And then that whole open area. Um, yeah, it's coming together. I just have to trust the process, especially like after I get this wall painted, cause I don't want to do too much right now since I plan on painting the wall. And then <clears throat> I want to add in like a pegboard and stuff. And I actually will be doing like, <laughs> so it'll be like the top half will be white. And then I want to do a strip in here of the teal color. I don't think it comes, I'm not sure if it comes up teal on the camera. Looks like it comes up blue, but it's a teal color that I'm going for. Does it show more in this? This painting is by, um, or illustration is by Nikki Creative. It's like, this is the color I'm going for as my accent color. So I want that to go around. And then I want to do the whole gallery wall thing going on. Um, I'm trying to go bright. Well, not bright. I'm trying to be colorful um, with my, my designing. And I hope it comes out the way I want. I don't really care for how this uh, top feels. So I might have to get a plastic covering for that. Um, Cause I don't know how that's gonna work out with you know, having to sanitize it all the time before I start orders. So that should be interesting. Yeah, I think I might have to get like a plastic cover to go over that, which I probably could have got at Ikea and that's all the way in Virginia. Oh, well, anyways, I'm moving on because I need to start doing orders. I have a few that should go out today. And then later on, I'll show you that. through and they actually gave me more than a hundred for each of these and I'm just using the box they came in uh, to store them but yeah this is what it looks like and the color like the colors came out oh phenomenal like I'm so used to um, these printing places printing way darker with my um, diva dolls being that they're melanated so I am in, in, immensely impressed. So like these are the ones that I was making to um, in the meantime using these. And so yeah, looks so good. I love it. Um, so you, yeah, definitely check them out. And so I think this is you know the route I'm gonna go from now on. Um, and you can see the size difference in how much bigger these are gonna be within the packets. Um, I still have a few of these ones from for the Etsy, so this is what I'm gonna use these up. Um, but yeah, definitely check them out. But I'm so happy about them. All right, good morning. I'm finally opening this. <laughs> um, so, this is my Geneva Bowers and if you don't follow her on Instagram you should be I love her artwork um it's just it's so beautiful and colorful and I got this waitlist book I ordered this back in like May and I'm just now opening it I've had it since about July um there's no real reason on me like waiting to open it, but <clears throat> I just love her artwork because of how colorful it is. And um, 
it's just like, is it mystical is the word I want to use? Um, it's very much like fairy tale and storybook um, inspired. Like, you know how they show a lot of like um, white girls with or white characters in mythical, what seems like mythical. Oh my God, I keep hitting the, the tripod. Um, <laughs> mythical scenes or whatever. And that's the vibe I get from her stuff is like, but from the perspective of like a black girl. Um, it's just these lovely scenes. And I wasn't able to get, uh, she had like two different ones going on. Um, you know, group A and group B because Group B would just be like the ones that have slight either misprints or dings or whatever. But um, yeah, you should definitely check her out. I'll have her on the screen. Um, and it says, for my mother, my father, my jovial husband, and all of you making the book a reality. Oh, another thing. Her stuff also reminds me of um, Lisa Frank, which if you're a millennial, um, you know how big Lisa Frank was to our childhood. <laughs> but like, just so beautiful. And like, I don't know where I'm gonna put it because I don't have like a coffee table. Maybe I'll, no, I'm not gonna stick it here on my counter, on my island because this is where I eat. But, it's, they're just so, her artwork is just so beautiful. And I really, I just, I, I just love it. And like, I wish this book could have been as big. You know how big the Rihanna book is? I wish she could have made a book that big. I, I would have, I would have spent the money on it. Um, <laughs> but her stuff is just beautiful. And you, you have to, go and check her out on Instagram. Like, look at this. Look at the scenery, like, pop off sis. Like, I just, because I know, like, I would only draw this and then keep, just like this, keep that background um, plain. I could never, I don't do sceneries. I could never. Um, <laughs> it's just not my thing. Because of the amount of details that I'm gonna wanna put in a scenery, let alone how long it's gonna take. It's just, it's just not my thing. But like, these are all just, you know, I'm gonna have to go. <gasps> oh my God. Look at this. I, I need to go on her website and see if this is available as a print. What, what is this one called? Yellow, spring yellow. Oh my God. I, I love it. Oh my God. That is so pretty. Let me stop, okay. It's just, you gotta get the book. I'm not gonna go through all the pages. I'm gonna look at this like on my own, but definitely, definitely check her out. I know I'm gonna put her back on the screen again and check her out. Um, this is a beautiful art book. Just show, oh my God. This looks really, and a lot of her stuff, oh yeah, that's another thing. A lot of her stuff also reminds me of like, you know, um, you know when you see oil on the ground and it gets water in it and you have all these vivid colors? That, it also reminds me of that. Like she's just, the colors are phenomenal and beautiful. And this is also the um, bookmark that came with it. Beautiful, just like. I cannot, like, I'm gonna have to definitely go on her site and get some um, prints for my wall. Mm-hmm, yep. I thought I'd be satisfied with just the book, but nope. And she also sells stickers too, so there's that. Oh yeah, here, you couldn't see it. Okay, well, <laughs> thank you for watching and until next time. Two different lives